Hi everyone, I want to talk to you about weight loss myths. Things like you have to stop grains to lose weight, or you need to exercise five or six times a week, or you can't have your snacks, or else if you have snacks, you won't be able to lose weight. These are things that people hear about. Maybe you've read about it in a glossy magazine, or it's just popped up on your social media, and you're thinking, I shouldn't now be doing these things, or maybe I need to do these things, to lose weight. Let me tell you what's a myth and what's a fact and use this to lose weight. If you haven't as yet, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel because this is where I'm going to be sharing with you tips, recipes, suggestions, not only how to lose weight, but to maintain it so you feel good from the inside out and you have more energy as well. Let's look at what these myths are. The first one is many people stop grains to lose weight. They think that they should avoid grains because that's what's causing their weight gain. So they avoid things like pasta, they avoid things like roti, they avoid things like rice, and they think that's going to help them to lose weight. However, you can only do this in the short term because you'll find as soon as you've started eating the grains, it's actually going to cause the weight to come back on. The reason why you're losing weight when you stop grains is it's that water weight. So you don't need to stop grains. Instead, what I want you to do is to think about having whole grains and learning the portion sizes of these grains so you can still enjoy things like rice, roti, bread, pasta. You don't need to stop them, just find your healthy balance. The second myth I want to talk about is snacks. Many people will often think, I just shouldn't be eating snacks because that's causing the weight gain. Please remember, we're all different and some of us do need a snack in the day. I need a snack mid-morning and mid-afternoon. Some people might need just one snack, but of course there are people who don't need any snack at all. Now what happens when you stop eating the snacks? When you stop eating the snacks, you will then find that you have intense cravings for them and eventually when you give in and you can't control yourself because self-discipline, willpower, it's only there for a short time. Whenever you give up and you go back to your snacks, you're going to overindulge in these, whether it's your jalebis, your gulab jamuns, your crisps, your samosas, and you're going to gain the weight right back on. So don't stop your snacks, but just like the grains, learn how to make healthier swaps. What you can do is to have, you know, instead of fried crisps, have baked crisps. Instead of fried samosas, have baked uh, samosas. Whenever you're making your treats at home, things like Ras Malai Gulab Jamun, just end up using less sugar of these. If you're baking again, use the natural sugars rather than the refined sugars. The third myth that people do is skip meals. And you might end up skipping a meal because you're going out for a big dinner. So you'll think, I won't have much to eat at lunchtime. But then when you go out to eat later, you find you're overeating at dinner time. Or maybe you're just trying to reduce your calories, which is why you are skipping meals. You're counting calories. And because your calorie intake is very low, you can't have regular meals throughout the day. The problem that often comes with this is it's affecting your metabolism. So please remember that you have to make sure you are getting the right nutrients in your body. You are getting a balanced diet. You do not need to skip meals and you need to make sure that you are getting enough fiber, you're getting enough protein, you're getting your bit vegetables, your vitamins, your minerals, and you are getting enough to give you the energy to do the things that you need to be doing in the day. The fourth myth is thinking you can't eat fat. So sometimes people will go on a very low fat diet and when they go on a low fat diet, they think that's going to help me lose weight because it's the fatty foods that's causing my weight. Now remember, fat is a macronutrient that we need in our body. We need it for making some hormones. We need it for vitamin D. We need it to make us also feel satisfied. So when you don't have fat in your diet, it does have an impact on how you're feeling. You don't need to stop all fats. So you can still have fats, but learn about what are the healthy fats, what are the not very healthy fats, 
have less of the fried foods, but make sure you are having some of the healthy fats like avocados, olives, nuts, seeds, yogurt, those kind of fats, they're good to have, but again, portion sizes should always be remembered. The fifth myth is that you've got to do a lot of exercise, especially cardio. And this can be a problem, especially for the women I'm coaching. You're getting over 40, 45, 50. You can't be doing that much cardio. It's having an impact on your knees, on your ankles, on your back. And also too much cardio is not going to just result in fat loss. What you want to do is to maintain a balance between the cardio and the resistance training that you're doing. So if you're looking to lose weight, you shouldn't just be focusing only on exercise. You've got to be thinking about what you're eating. You've got to be thinking about your sleep. You've got to be thinking about how you're dealing with stress. It's many things that are coming together to help you lose weight. So yes, please do continue exercising. Do some cardio, but along with that, do some other exercises as well. Please do stay tuned. Subscribe here to my YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, you can always reach out and ask me. And I'll be sharing some more tips with you very soon over here.